Julia Gillard has finally fulfilled her ambition, officially taking office as Australia's first elected female Prime Minister. But as she and her ministry were sworn in by the Governor-General, Tony Abbott was manoeuvring to spoil the party. He announced his own front bench reshuffle, bringing back Malcolm Turnbull, the man he deposed as leader. From Canberra, Chief Political Correspondent Mark Simpkin. She returned in record time. I, Julia Eileen Gillard, sworn in twice in just three months, a first for a Prime Minister. May I offer you my warmest congratulations and my best wishes in your term of office. Other members of the team followed. In something of a title fight, five ministers had their portfolio names changed following complaints from Aboriginal leaders and universities. While I think uh, uh, it's more a question of what you do and what you deliver than uh, what you're called, I thought it was reasonable to respond to that and I got to chat to the Prime Minister about it last night. Julia Gillard found a place for the leader she deposed. I present the Honourable Kevin Michael Rudd MP to be the Minister for Foreign Affairs. And almost simultaneously, Tony Abbott did the same. And I can't think of anyone better than Malcolm Turnbull uh, given his experience to hold the government uh, ferociously to account in this area. That area is communications. The tech head will return to Shadow Cabinet, charged with demolishing the government's broadband plan. This is going to be the absolute focus of the political battle uh, over the next 18 months or so. Where is the financial analysis? Where is the business plan? Where is any of the evidence that would justify this investment. There are some losers, three former shadows banished to the backbench, the architect of the coalition's broadband alternative demoted. Politics is a tough business and uh, inevitably uh, one person's elation uh, is someone else's uh, disappointment. It's a minimalist reshuffle and some backbenchers are unhappy about it. The economic team's unchanged despite Andrew Robb's interest in Joe Hockey's job and calls for the dumping of former Howard ministers and an injection of youth were largely unanswered. It is a strong and experienced team that will hold a weak and incompetent government to account. Today, though, they're the ones smiling, back in government, and as far as they're concerned, back in business. Mark Simpkin, ABC News, Canberra.